You know, we can't really found, find the fountain of youth on a plate, <laughs> but eating the superfoods, which those are the foods high in antioxidants, it can be one tasty way to try to help the process. This morning, our food coach, Lori Corbin, looks at some power chow. When you sit down to food, you usually don't think about the antioxidant quotient of a plate. But what if the food is not only good tasting, but good for you? Today, we're going to be talking to a chef who claims to have made the world's healthiest meal. The meal has an antioxidant value of 23,000 ORAC units, so that's oxygen radical absorbance capacity. So that would be equivalent to eating 23 bunches of grapes. And of course, eating 23 bunches of grapes would be very uncomfortable. So chef and author of Indian Superfood, Gurpeet Baines created a meal that offers a load of antioxidant goodness from a variety of foods and spices. These antioxidants fight the effect of oxidative stress that enters the body. Generally, the more you eat, the better. So get ready for the turkey curry with blueberries. Yes, blueberries. We don't use them at all, um, but they're very high in antioxidants and um, we do use souring agents like tomatoes in the, in the kitchen, so it is quite similar. It doesn't, it doesn't spoil the taste, if you like. I did, actually, as Gurpeet infused loads of spices along with yogurt and goji berry pilaf as well. One of his ideas is to use cinnamon, two tablespoons worth. But here's the secret to using all of that. We also need to fry the cinnamon in a little bit of oil to, to reduce that really sharp, grainy taste, if you like. And as it is with many phytochemicals, heat increases the bioavailability of the food, or in this case, the spice. So that's a good tip. And another unusual ingredient to work with, the goji berry. I think when you cook them, um, like today in a pilau, I'm going to cook them in the rice with cumin seeds and carrots and uh, grains of beautiful basmati rice, very aromatic rice. Then you pick up the flavor of the goji berry, which isn't too sweet, but it has a kind of tea flavor. So I guess it's a, a, an Eastern ingredient, and using spices of it just brings out its natural flavor. That's, That's a good great. combo. Thanks. That's really a good combo. I hope you'll be making it at home. <laughs> I'll be making it at home. Might not look like that. Lori Corbin, ABC7 Eyewitness News.